Well, good morning and welcome to your Sunday Gardener. I'm John Collins along with Carrie Engel from Valley View Farms. Good morning, and, John. And uh, it's that time of year to really get out in it. We've been waiting all winter to get weather decent enough to get out in the garden. That's right. So what are we going to do? We're going to work in a pot, which can be undercover inside. We can start that way. But eventually, this little planter with some tomatoes and peppers is going to produce a, a nice yield. It is. Talked to some urban gardeners yesterday, and they really bought into this system because it does work so well. So we're going to start with tomatoes, and we're kind of doing it this week because we have this week over 80 varieties of tomatoes available at Valley View. So it's just kind of a fun weekend for us anyway. So come on out if you get a chance. But we want to show you just how to put this together. This is a two cubic foot box. It has a grid in the bottom here so that above the grid is the soil, below the grid is, is airspace right now, but we can fill it up with water. So it's kind of a self-watering system in a sense. So at least when you do water, the watering lasts. A lot longer. That's right, and when you do water, you have too much water, the excess water comes out here and just drips down. So, like, I'll water in my flip flops, and once my toes start get wet, yeah. I know it's, it's time to, to stop. It's hard to overwater with this. Right, and you're right on the tube there, that's where right. you're going to water through. Um, so, we're going to set this up. We've already got the soil in here. Uh, we already mixed lime in here because both tomatoes and peppers just do like the lime. Generally throughout the soil. Throughout the soil, but we are going to put like a strip here of fertilizer. So, I'm just going to put that fertilizer right through here, make it relatively even. Mm -hmm all the way through. And this is going to be enough to feed through the rest of the plants. We'll just bury it with the soil from here. Mm -hmm. um, and what's nice about this is it, because it's watered kind of from the bottom, the water is underneath there, because it's watered like that, it's going to pull the roots down and going to give you a much more substantial plant. But the other great Instead thing... Instead of having like, all the roots remaining right around the original root ball of the plant. Exactly. Yeah. But the other thing I love about this system, and I'm going to have to lift this up, okay. um, is this cover here. If you can get that over, you should have a hole over there for the little water spout. Oh, there it is, right there. And I'm going to take this over here. And then we're going to just do a couple of holes. So when you buy this, it comes with a little planning guide. And it'll tell you like how many of what kind of plant you can put in an area. So I'm making a hole over on this end for my pepper. Mm -hmm. And one over on this end for your tomato. And this just gives it... It takes it away from the fertilizer a little bit, but gives us enough space to really plant it in. Okay, we have about 30, 40 seconds left, so we have to, you know, kind of loosen the dirt around the root ball a little bit, just to prepare it, and then you just... Stuff it on in there. <laughs> stuff it in the hole. And, then, and again, you, um, what's nice about this is, say, you have a deluge of rain, your plant's not going to get overwatered. It's just going to mm -hmm. take water as you add it to that tube. And you can reuse this again and again and again, but these mm -hmm. are going to probably be in here for two to three months, so it's a good way to go. So we can just go through here and start to water. Now, oh, it wouldn't be a bad idea, maybe because the soil is dry right now, to shoot a little water down the hole just to get it started. It's not, not a bad idea, yeah. um, and it just you know depends on how much you have going on. But we could fill this up with, again, two gallons. This is just to sort of give you the idea. Which this and little keep watering idea. can will Not going to do it, that's right. <laughs> but hey, it's lightweight and whatever. So, so we're off and running. And when do we get tomatoes? We're going to get tomatoes. Let's see. I planted better bush, which will give us tomatoes in a little over two months. And we planted the lunchbox peppers. Lunchbox peppers, so we'll have them in about 70 days. I'll mark the calendar. We're out of time. Thanks, Carrie. Right. Next week, more on Sunday Gardener. We'll see you then. <laughs>